take a moment again to reflect on the month of March and the impact that March had on our community and, and the lives that were really changed. Police Chief Brian Manley acknowledging the loss of Draylon Mason and Anthony House as he released APD's video from the Austin bombings. Today, a Williamson County grand jury decided not to charge the officer who fired at the bomber. Mark Condit's death ruled a suicide after the 23-year-old detonated an explosive inside his car. KXAN's Kylie McGivern has Manley's reaction to the new video. Okay, come and do a stop, come and do a stop. This video displays really is, is the heroism. I think law enforcement across this country, but specifically two of our officers, Officer Justison and Officer Garcia, and the actions that they took that night. Heroism. It's a word Chief Brian Manley kept coming back to as he reflected on what he saw, watching the moment weeks of terror came to an end. Ultimately, they made the decision to apprehend him along the frontage road of I-35, knowing that had he gotten onto I-35, we would not know where he potentially would go, who else he might try to injure. And it shows them putting their lives in harm's way as they tried to break through that window and get him in custody. I think this exemplifies the heroism of the men and women who serve our community and communities across this country and what they're willing to do to keep communities safe. The video was taken from an APD helicopter showing a different angle than the one the state released last week. APD chose to wait on a grand jury decision. This is really the opportunity to give just a little bit more of an insight to the community of what happened that night in those final moments. This as APD's investigation continues along with the FBI and ATF. Evident from the bombers Pflugerville home such as computer and DNA evidence still being analyzed. Within that investigation, APD is still determining whether to release the bombers 25 minute confession tape, something Manly fears could do more harm than good. But to release that type of information could better educate someone who might consider doing this in the future. Manley says at this point, there's nothing to indicate the victims were targeted, but this is still an active investigation. Kylie McGivern, KXAN News. Tonight, Austin police confirmed the officers who approached the bomber weren't wearing body cameras. That's because SWAT hadn't received them in the rollout yet. We told you about the delays tied to our biggest police force getting the cameras. Two years ago, police were supposed to start using the cameras in an effort to provide more transparency to the community, but a lawsuit put them behind. Just last September, APD moved forward with the cameras. They say 1,500 officers are now wearing them. They hope to expand that to the entire force soon.